Hello, welcome to another video of a peak of history videos. In this video, I want to talk about the musical periods throughout history. So, here's a timeline from 476 to 1475 was the medieval music period. From 1475 to 1600 was the Renaissance musical period. From 1600 to 1750 was the Baroque musical period. And from 1750 to 1820 was the classical musical period. And 1820 to 1900 was the romantic period. 1900 to now was is the modern and postmodern periods. Uh, this information, well, this timeline actually, was from edtech2.boisestate.edu. The link is at the bottom, as you can see, in orange. Okay, now for the medieval uh, music period. It was from f uh, 476 to 1475. Uh, it was the longest period in musical history. If you go back to the timeline, this whole gray part, this gray part right here, as you can see, it's like, yeah, definitely the longest. Um, and uh, it was the first time there was harmony in the music. It Before there was just melody, but now there's melody and harmony. So it's, uh, and uh, most of the music in this period was written by monks in the churches. And the main instrument uh, in these pieces were the lute and the recorder, which is, the recorder is a simple woodwind instrument. And also, this was also mostly vocals. The, in the Renaissance period, 1475 to 1600, vocal music is still more important than instrumental music. Same thing was with the in the medieval period, and uh, a cappella, right? This a uh, cappella was when one singer sang alone. A cappella was like a type of music in the Renaissance. So a cappella was when one singer sang alone, and a madrigal was when four to six singers sang together. So cappella is like a solo. And madrigals from four to six singers, they sang together in like a you know a chorus or something. It was a, an important composer in the Renaissance was Giovanni Pierluigi uh, de Palestrina, and harpsichords were very important, and they eventually led to the invention of the piano. Um, now to the Baroque period. The Baroque period was from 1600 to 1750. Uh, it had a more simple structure of music, not as complex. Famous composers in this music period include Johann Sebastian Bach, who is very famous, and Antonio Vivalidi. This music period saw the rise of orchestras, and the famous Hallelujah Chorus was written in this musical period. Uh, instruments in included in most uh, normal uh, orchestras uh, or Instruments include most normal orchestra instruments, such as the violin, the harpsichord, the flute, etc. Uh, the classical period, from 1750 to 1820, often called the Golden Age of Music. Music in this period had many sections that had varying tempo and style. So, you you know, you could go to one section, it was at like a you know, slower tempo, and quickly switch to another section that had a very fast tempo. And it was, you know, it was quite... Um, quite uh, random at points. It could go very slow and then very fast and then very slow and then keep switching. Uh, Mozart and Beethoven composed during this time period, so two very famous uh, composers, and mostly the same instruments as the previous uh, music periods from uh, like the woodwinds to the string instruments and both of those instruments uh, both of those types of instruments got uh, a little bit more refined so they were made better uh, now the romantic period so in this period lasted from 1820 to 1900 so to about a hundred years ago musicians in this period tried to express the deeping me deeper meaning uh, of human life through their music so uh, I'm I am told that they try to symbolize the deeper meanings uh, to human life in their music I don't know exactly how they did that but uh, the idea for the music was drawn from nature history and sometimes even books of the romantic period the romantic period was not only a period of uh, music but was also a period of human thinking this was right after like 
many people had gone to science and done a lot of things, right? And this was like a re uh, rebuke to science, saying that maybe if you go too far into science, you'll ruin the natural flow of nature. So romantic, it was actually a period of life. Uh, romantic music is from that period. So a book from the romantic period is like Frank is Frankenstein, where, you know, the... Uh, the main character creates a monster and that monster ends up ruining his life well that was sort of a way to symbolize that you know this scientist he messed with nature so much now he created this monster that is ruining his life so that was also from the romantic period so the romantic period was a time where some people thought that uh, the scientists shouldn't mess with nature and they should feel awe to nature and and the romantic music period was also in that romantic time. Uh, uh, famous composers from this period include Richard Wagner and of course Peter Tchaikovsky who was very very famous. Brass instruments were common in this period which is the first time they're very common. Now modern and postmodern from 1900 to basically now uh, unorthodox instruments for example a typewriter okay electric instruments are introduced and composers such as John Cage put sounds of nuts and bolts in their music to make it sound unusual so that is very unorthodox so I hope this was helpful and this is the figure Sonny signing out